Time Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Steven Gerard. Now, Steven Gerard was actually a Frenchman who was a captain of several merchant ships sailing the high seas for a good amount of time until eventually he decides, you know what, I'm done sitting on the ocean. I'm going to start a different job. So he moves to Philadelphia just about the time the American Revolution is breaking out, and Gerard starts a merchant company. This company becomes very successful, wildly successful, probably more successful than Stephen Gerard could have ever dreamed, because about 25 years later, 30 years later, in 1805, just as Thomas Jefferson is coming in for his second term as president of the United States, well, Stephen Gerard becomes the wealthiest person in the United States of America. And he would sit atop the wealthiest list for about 25 years, a very long time. From Thomas Jefferson to Andrew Jackson, this gentleman was the wealthiest person in America. Now what's interesting is in 1811, the first bank of the United States, its, its charter was not re-enlisted by the United States government. And therefore, Stephen Gerard swooped in to make some purchases. Not only did he purchase what was left of the First Bank of the United States, but he literally purchased the building and would hold on to this for quite some time. Now, his wealth was so extensive that when the War of 1812 broke out, well, the United States needed to pay for it, and the United States just didn't have that much money. Like I said, no more bank. But Stephen Gerard came in with what was then known as Gerard's Bank, and he offered to, well pay for it. This was his adopted home and he loved his country and for lack of a better term, Stephen Gerard bankrolled the the American army in the War of 1812. And if it were not for his finances, much like Robert Morris in the Revolutionary War, if it were not for Stephen Gerard, well, the United States probably could not have paid for the War of 1812. And well, that might have ended with the recolonization of America by Great Britain. So we have very much Stephen Gerard to thank. Now, there was some tragedy in his life. Unfortunately, his wife Mary had suffered a nervous breakdown and was committed to a mental institution, and he never had children of his own. But he wanted to take care of his community, and he was arguably the first philanthropist as we know it today because Stephen Gerard, he built an orphanage. He invested into several different charities in Philadelphia and around the United States and donated a substantial portion of his fortune back into the United States. And lastly, I do want to note that Gerard's bank, well, it was around for a long time. It was purchased by Mellon Bank in 1983, almost 200 years later, and now is still technically around as a subsidy of Citizens Bank. So that's Stephen Gerard, an extraordinarily brief history of, for a very long time, the wealthiest man in the United States. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit like. If you're new here, subscribe for information about the American Revolution five, wait, no, six now days a week. Thank you, and I'll be back with another founder for you tomorrow.